I know school probably sucks. It's not the best place to be, but there is some things you could do to make it more worth going to. Just think about what school is. A place where hundreds of people are. You see 30 people around you in a class. You have so many opportunities to talk with them. But I used to think that all these people that were at school were bad people. But as a result, I was lonely. I didn't really talk to anyone. I felt like a lot of things were missing in my life. And I just made an excuse about it like, oh, I'm better than everyone. I, I don't relate to anyone. Even though I haven't even talked to the people that I said I didn't relate to. The point I'm trying to make is there was a lot of opportunities and things that were in school that I used to not take advantage of. But as soon as I've been starting to take advantage of those moments like I am right now, I feel a lot better with my life. I feel more confident. I am able to talk to girls now. I have more friends and I'm doing cool things in my life. I'm making money, having fun hobbies. My life is filled with more purpose and meaning and I feel like I'm getting better every single day. I'm getting closer towards my goals. My name is Timothy and I really feel like I'm discovering a lot of cool things in my life. And I just wanna share it with you so hopefully you can think about something that I say. And if you like the environment, I mean, consider subscribing. Also, if you want to stop doing all these bad habits like scrolling, going on TikTok, all those stupid things, I do coaching to help people quit bad habits, start making money online, start doing other things in their life. And if that sounds interesting, click that Calendly link in the description so I can talk more about it. The moment where everything changed for me is when it was another boring day at school and I thought I was just going to go home, watch some YouTube, not really do anything again. But then my friend texted me surprisingly asking if i wanted to go out and play some basketball and i'm stressing because of this bro because i haven't gone out at all really in my life and the fact that this random friend i have is just asking me to play some basketball at first i honestly say no i say no it, it might rain soon and the weather isn't that good but after him convincing me and showing me that he actually wanted to be with me and to play some basketball i just decided to say yes that's the moment where everything started to change. The moment where I started to say yes to more things. The more change that happened in my life, I was more open to new things going on in my life and I played some pretty fun basketball. And after walking home from that basketball session I had with my friend, it made me realize how fun that actually was. How when I started to say yes, I felt better. I didn't feel as confused about my life and felt like something was missing. I felt like I could do that over and over and over again and it would just help me improve more. I feel like I hit a gold mine with this, just saying yes and talking to more people around my school. You know, I had the usual conversation where someone would joke around with me or talk to me and sometimes they would actually invite me to do things or just say, oh, you should do this, you should try this with me. And when I say yes and do it, I feel a lot better. I remember another time I went out as well I was just supposed to go with my one friend. Then as I'm going there, I realize there's a bunch of other people that I know as well. And it's a pretty sick place, bro. It's like all my friends, all the people I talk to in this one place playing basketball. It's a pretty sick place. All because I said yes to some opportunity and just going out instead of scrolling or playing video games. I also did this too my first year of high school. So last year I was presented with the opportunities to play some clubs. And I remember going to that high school when I was still in middle school, observing it and observing the clubs and being like, oh, I don't really want to play some clubs. Like I'm not that extroverted and willing to put myself out there. But I just realized, well, all the times that I said yes, all the times I did something, it helped. So you know what? I'm just going to give soccer a try. I'm just going to see how it goes. And maybe one friend that I have might be there from last year. Then I go there and no, one of my friends isn't there. Pretty much the whole team I know. How crazy is that? You probably wouldn't want to miss an opportunity like that. Being able to spend so many hours just having fun with your friends. And I was about to say no to that because, oh, like, I don't want to put myself out there. I don't want to be confident. The, like the first year of me either playing lacrosse or playing soccer, I was terrified to be on the team. But then I saw some people that I knew. I talked to them and then that opened up new opportunities to be with people that I didn't know. And now I'm playing lacrosse again. I'm playing soccer again and I'm getting way better and I'm so glad I did it. The amount of opportunities and self-development I really had from playing those sports. And all of this was possible because I talked to people. I want to repeat that again so you know what I'm trying to say. So what you can do in school, talk to people. Talk to people in school, okay? Stop going on your phone, 
Stop pretending like nobody relates to you or something. Like I know you have that one guy that sits near you that you could talk to on the bus, at lunch, during your classes, after school. You can talk to people. Start acknowledging people's presence and talk to people. Bro, how many times do I have to say to, for you to understand? Talk to people. I don't care what your reason is, what your excuse is, talk to people. You won't lose anything from talking to people. All it does is boost your social skills, boost your confidence, boost your ability to do cooler things in your life, and boost the fact that you're living your life with more purpose, more meaning. You feel like you have people that you can connect to and have friends, and because of that, you're talking to people, which made me play sports, made me want to do this and this, stay after school to play soccer, do this, do this, I'll do all these cool, fun things in my life. Think about all the pockets of time where you're just going on your phone. So before your school year ends, talk to some people, go out more, do some cool things with the friends that you might have. If you don't have friends at school, talk to more people, get some type of connection, join some club, sports team, be involved. Don't we all want a fun life? Don't we all want to make money, do cool things, talk to girls? That's what I got from saying yes to more things and talking to people in school instead of just being on my phone all the freaking time. So if you want to start talking to more people, start doing the better habits, not be on your phone all the time, not play video games, not relapse all the time, bro, that was so annoying, I couldn't talk to anyone because of that. Click that Calendly link in the description right now, book a call, let's hop on a quick little call, boost your social skills a little bit by going on that call so I can help you finally quit those bad habits and unlock so many opportunities in your life to make money, talk to girls, do cool things in your life. If you want to surround yourself with a bunch of like-minded people, join that like-minded club in the description. Also talk to people as well. Yeah, I can hold you accountable every single day, give you specific advice that I've done in my life to give it to you with my coaching package with that Calendly link in the description. Hope to see you in there and in the like-minded club. Do the stuff to spread this around the algorithm. Like, comment, subscribe, share, rate this 10 out of 10 stars. And yeah, hope you can really think about this. Please try to do this before school ends. Talk to more people, say yes to more things. And hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you later, bro. Peace. Yeah, bye-bye.